Hey guys, it's Johnny Judoka. Um, this is not necessarily like a mental health vlog. Uh, it's more about jujitsu. Um, but I didn't really want to get up out of bed and record on my computer because I'm just really tired from all the training I've done this week. Um, so the way I'm feeling about training these days is different from how I felt when I first started jujitsu and even when I first got my blue belt. Um, so this week I count last Saturday as the beginning because of that week, because that's when I started training that, that week I went to two open mats, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, trained Monday uh, afternoon, like noon class, went to Tuesday, no gi, and then my birthday was on the um, on the ninth, which is Wednesday, which was a competition class. So, as per tradition, I got some birthday rolls. Uh, went with a really tough black belt, and then I did fourteen a fourteen minute roll with a uh, really tough blue belt, and then I did a couple of rolls today, and. One of the things I'm really realizing as I get better at jiu-jitsu is that there is such a, like, huge complexity to the levels of jiu-jitsu, you know? When you first start, you're just trying to survive. You're just trying to, you know, maybe get an arm bar, maybe get, you know, um, just some kind of uh, advantage on... Uh, another white belt or learn, you know, learning the positions or whatever. But I've noticed that as I get better, the roles get harder and they get more technical. Um, we had promotions a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm so blue belt. Um, and I was sort of like, you know, I, I, I had a lot of struggle with being a blue belt because I, a lot of traumatic stuff happened to me when I was um, when I was a blue belt. You know, I went through a lot of mental health crises and went through you know switching gems and stuff. And so I I had this idea that I wanted to get out of blue belt and into purple as soon as possible. But after watching videos from accredited people in the you know in the world of jiu-jitsu like blue belt is where most people quit like if you start as a white belt most people quit as a white belt but the most people who also quit are at blue and i was very close to quitting and so one thing i've had to do is realize that you sort of have to love the learning process because the jiu-jitsu is not just moves it's not just self-defense there's concepts that apply all around in whatever type of game passing pressure throws guard open guard escapes there are all these concepts that um you know i'm not a black belt but you know I, I know many black belts that say that when they get to their black belt, it's a whole new whole new ball game and 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 so for me, I was just realizing that there are levels to jujitsu, and I'm just now starting to realize how much I don't know, and which is motivating me to make my rules about learning and about understanding understanding those concepts and applying them it's not just about submitting people it's not getting upset about you got tapped by a lower belt it's about learning and wanting to learn and then sharing that with other people um there's a lot of higher belts in our gym that they teach cl classes you know it's not just the main professor but we have you know brown belts uh, teaching uh, class, you have black belts teaching class, um, and I feel like I'm at the point now 
I love jujitsu because it just makes me want to learn more. I'm, like, I used to be, like, a really big academic when I was a kid and when I was in college. But I couldn't continue it because I was, you know, mentally ill and stuff. And I realized that, uh, like, this is fun. Learning is so much fun in jiu-jitsu, you know? Like, you, you know, put yourself in bad situations, you fight out of them. But these are all good people that, you know, love you and support you and want to do better. Um, so... I just want to make this video to let, you know, if anyone's watching this is and is scared to try jiu-jitsu or is in jiu-jitsu and they're having a hard time, it gets harder. But the reward of pushing through mental barriers, the reward of overcoming bouts of mental illness, so the reward of being healthy, and the reward of having a community, you know, that loves you, supports you in the world where is dominated by technology and surface level social media relationships. Like, that's pretty cool. So, I, I, I want to thank, I want to thank my professors and, and all the people that have helped me transition to the gym I'm, the, I'm at right now, Revolution Dojo in Houston and I'm just really grateful that I get to do this because you know I'm 29 I'll be in the master's division when I'm 30 and I want to do this as long as I can I want to get the black belt in jiu-jitsu I also want to get black belt in judo and so I think instead of thinking like oh well I just have to get out of this belt this belt sucks I just don't have to embrace the suck you know embrace the Difficulty and the challenge of like, okay, how can I, you know, get past this challenge? What technique can I use uh, to get past this situation or whatever? So, I just wanted to make this video and let y'all know you keep trying, keep going to class, talk to someone if you're having a hard time uh, going to class, if you want to quit, don't quit. Because most people do, and it's not to their benefit. So I just want to thank y'all for sorry for the uh, extended no time the time time off from making videos. I was just getting better mentally and physically. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Don't give up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.